everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we'll be testing a prototype from Solar Pivot Power. This is their Solbot 1. This is actually a solar tracker. So throughout the day, this will angle towards the sun to get you the most power. Now there aren't many solar trackers available and especially a portable lightweight option like this. So it's pretty cool to be able to test it. Now the kit that they sent to me includes the automated base, which actually controls the solar panel throughout the day. And then it also included this 100 watt bifacial solar panel. Now the really cool thing about the Soulbot 1 is that it is a smart tracker. You have the ability to set up the location and time via the smart app and then you can connect via Bluetooth. It programs that and it's able to move throughout the day. Now let me show you what it looks like as it moves. This is how it starts off in the morning. This is direct east, so it's facing east. And then as it goes throughout the day, it's going to slowly start moving towards the west at the exact rate of the sun. And so you can get the most power. Now you'll also notice that it is tilted. This has the ability to tilt and move on two axes. So you can tilt it towards the sun in the later uh, months of the year. Like right now it's after summer solstice. So it is better to have it lean uh, towards the sun, but you can also have it leaning flat or the opposite direction. Now, some of you may have noticed that there's a secondary panel connected to the larger panel. Now this small auxiliary panel is actually designed to trickle charge the base because it has its own built-in battery in order to move it along and have Bluetooth connectivity. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, it's stuck to the panel. Is it blocking the actual production? The answer is no. There's a cutout in the solar panel cells. So you can stick this here or here and not block the output of the solar panel. So it's nice that you don't have to have the main solar panel plugged into the tracker, stealing a little bit of the power and then passing it onto your power station or battery. It has its own solar panel so it can charge independently. Now here's a closer look at the actual tracker base. There are four legs for stability and each one is carbon fiber. And at the bottom you have these feet that have holes in them. So if it is a little bit windy, you can use the included stakes to stake it down so it won't tip over. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that this has the ability to pivot according to the time of year or where you are located around the world. For example, I have it angled south because I am in the Northern Hemisphere and it is near winter, but you have the ability to pull this pin and angle it flat. So if you are near the equator or it is the middle of the summer, you can use it in a flat orientation. Or if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you can face it towards the North so they're definitely thinking about everyone around the world using this product. Now what's really cool is this 100 watt bifacial solar panel can be used on its own as well. You don't have to use the tracker. It actually has built-in kickstands. So let me show you the process of removing the solar panel. So underneath this, there is a telescoping bar. You just snap this and then you have the ability to slide it in. And once it's slid in, you can take off the solar panel. Now this is what the solar tracker looks like without the solar panel installed. This is a telescoping bar right here. Now this is actually compatible with the Jackery style or X-Star style solar panels with the built-in handles. So you can actually use your own solar panel if you want and it clamps onto the handles, tightens up and it will hold it tight. Now I wanna show you guys the compatibility with a different solar panel. This is the X-Star SP100. This is a bifold solar panel. And to install it, you're gonna lay it down on the telescoping arm you're going to connect up the first handle and then what you do is you lay it down and then you expand it out until it locks in on the second handle and then you lock it in place and you're good to use another solar panel. I don't know guys, it's just really cool seeing the solar panel move on its own. I'm so used to having to adjust these on a daily basis. So having a solar panel that's automatic is just really cool. Now, right now the sun is facing direct south, so it's a perfect time to test to see how many watts we can get out of this 100 watt bifacial solar panel. Now, here's a closer look at the two kickstands that are on the 100 watt bifacial solar panel. Now, when not in use, these kickstands fold against the back so you can use it on the tracker, but if you want to use it on the ground, it's nice to have these kickstands. So, I've just connected in the solar panel to the Blue Eddy AC180, and we are seeing around 79 watts charging input, so almost 80% of the rated output. Now it's around 85 degrees outside today, so the solar panel is a bit warm and we do have a little bit of haze, so these are definitely not perfect conditions to test out the full output of the solar panel, but this is what you'd expect on a normal day. Now what's really cool is Solar Pivot Power sent out this reflective tarp as a part of this kit. 
And because this is a bifacial solar panel, setting up this reflective tarp might allow us to get a little bit more power input. So I'm gonna set up this reflective tarp and we'll see how much more power we get. So this is what it looks like when the tarp is fully set up. Now it is super bright. I can't even look at the tarp because it's reflecting so much light back at the solar panel. So I'm excited to see how much more power we're getting with this tarp. So without the tarp, we are seeing 79 watts to 80 watts. And now with the tarp, we are seeing 89 to 90 watts. So we did get a boost in power with that reflective tarp. Now I've seen a lot of videos trying to test out the reflectivity of certain materials on the back of bifacial solar panels. Now what's really cool about this tarp is it has a really bumpy texture, so it sends light in all different directions. So the light coming on the side of the solar panel is gonna reflect back towards the solar panel and the light behind is gonna reflect back in. So this is way better than using some sort of smooth surface like a mirror. I think this tarp is a really cool idea. Now I'm sure your guys' biggest question right now is how much of a benefit do you get by using the solar tracker versus having the 100 watt solar panel facing south? Now I've done two different tests throughout the day. I tested with the solar panel facing south and I also tested with that same solar panel on the solar tracker. So let's go over those numbers. Now for the first test, I had the solar panel facing directly south for the entire day. Now in order to measure the power coming out of the solar panel, I used an inline shunt you can see I got 428 watt hours or about 26.4 amp hours during this first test. Now for the second test, I used the same exact 100 watt panel, but installed on the solar tracker. It was really cool to see this move throughout the day angled exactly at the sun. Now looking at the actual results, we did get more power. It was 537 watt hours or about 34.7 amp hours. And if you notice, the running time was actually a little longer and that's because the solar panel was able to get more sun in the morning because it was lifted off the ground. So pretty interesting to notice that difference as well. Now up on the screen, you'll see the results for both these tests. I will say that the solar conditions were identical for both of these days back to back. And if we compare the 428 watt hours versus the 537 watt hours, it's a 25% increase in energy by using the solar tracker. Now, according to Utum from Solar Pivot Power, you will get a bigger gain than this if you are testing in the middle of the summer when this is angled um, flat towards a sun vertical in the sky. So I am seeing less of an advantage as the sun is lower in the sky later in the year. So anywhere from 25 to 40% is a pretty big gain with using a solar tracker versus having the solar panel just facing south. Now here's a quick breakdown of what comes in the all-in-one bundle if you purchase this on Kickstarter. So you get the portable solar robot or tracker, you get the carriage or the telescoping arm and mounting system, you get an auxiliary two watt solar panel, the stakes to mount it down if it's windy, you get a USB-C charging cable, a carrying bag, and the actual phone app. You also get the solar panel, which is a 100 watt bifacial solar panel. You get the charging cable and adapters for either a battery or a power station. You get the reflective tarp, stakes for that setup as well, straps, and a carrying bag. Now I want to do a quick breakdown of the pricing setup on the Kickstarter campaign. Now Kickstarter is all based on how early you adopt the product, so the people that purchase early are rewarded for that. For example, the super duper early bird pricing is only $99 for this all-in-one bundle, and that is at very limited quantities. Next, it's the super early bird at $299. The next one after that sold out is early bird at $399 with free shipping. And then the final one is special, which is $399 with a flat rate shipping of $25. So the earlier you buy, the more money you can save. Now as for build quality, even mine as a early production model has very good build quality. They've also let me know that each one of these solar trackers will be hand built in Austin, Texas. So if you wanna support something made in the USA, you can do that through this Kickstarter. Now the next big question is, when would you wanna use a solar tracker versus just purchasing more solar panels? Now if you're very, very limited on space and you want a very lightweight setup, but you still wanna get more power, that's when a tracker is an advantage. This entire setup, the panel and the base, only weigh 10 pounds and they fold up really small. So that's a benefit of having this setup versus having two or three extra panels. If you don't have room for it, just pick up this and the base and you'll get more power than just having your solar panel facing south. Now, if you have a bunch of room, it might not make sense to spend the extra money to get a tracker. Just purchase multiple solar panels and you'll get a lot of power. 
The other thing is this is just a really cool solar tech product. Uh, it's fun to test with. It's really cool to see how it works. And if you're just into solar and having fun, this is a really cool product to test with. So, you know, not all the time do you have to purchase a product um, just to use it, but to have fun with it. So if you're into solar and you like to see something new that's really cool and you want to pick it up at a good price, well, picking it up during the Kickstarter is a really cool way to do that. Now, if you guys like the video, please smash the thumbs up button. If you guys have any other tests that you'd like me to do, please recommend that down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.